So now we're going to move into our first cocktail break. So if you need a uh, just the time to go and get your stuff ready or get a drink or you want to make a drink here with Ryan, we're going to be doing that right now. And I forgot to mention this in the opening is that we had a whiskey from home shopping list available. So everything that you needed to follow along with the, the virtual bourbon tasting that you're going to be doing this afternoon with It's Bourbon Night, as well as Wall Street bestselling, uh, Wall Street Journal's bestselling author, Fred Minnick. And if you want to do a food pairing along with Peggy No Stevens, everything you need is on here, including the food and the whiskey themselves. And of course, heading to our first cocktail break right now, everything that you need to be able to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and stop my sharing and I'm going to bring Ryan into it and he's going to go ahead and take it over. So go ahead, Ryan. All right, I'm live. Sorry, Kenny or Kenny, I don't have any headphones on, but uh, welcome to Whiskey From Home. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks to Breaking Bourbon and Brian for uh, laying us down with some info. They always expose the poser that uh, I am in the bourbon world. They know so much about it, but uh, it's Derby Day, and so I'm sure everyone is getting thirsty. Now, typically, I start drinking you know, probably 8 to 9 a.m., on Derby Day, but I promised Fred and Kenny that, well, actually, they demanded that we couldn't show up drunk. So uh, coming into this sober, and uh, we're going to be doing some really simple uh, cocktails you can do at home. I'm calling these KISS, Keep It Simple Stupid. Uh, I wanted to make cocktails at home that I can have restaurant quality or bar quality, but keep them really stupid or simple because they can get kind of crazy, you know, and I'll just let the professionals do that. So uh, anyways, so we have some great products from Rabbit Hole Distillery here. Um, they have provided us with, we have a rye, their flagship bourbon, the Air Gold, which is a high rye bourbon. We have the, uh, the Cave Hill, which is a four grain small batch. And then we have the Derringer, which is their sherry cask finish. And uh, they're all excellent products. I've been tasting through these, as you can see, they're a little empty. But uh, today for the old fashioned, uh, I chose the Air Gold because it's a high rye bourbon. Uh, it's got a great little chocolate notes in there, some toasted notes, and I think it just goes great with uh, an old fashioned. An old fashioned is typically sweet um, because you have simple syrup or maple syrup, and so I really want something that's got some spice, some body to it that can stand up to that sweetness. And a lot of people use uh, simple syrup, you know, in their old fashions, but I chose maple syrup because it's a little less sweeter and it kind of gives a little little twist or flavor to it that you just don't get out of the ordinary simple syrup. So some tools you're going to need. Uh, we have a jigger, so it has a one ounce and a half ounce. This is like my saving grace because every time I stray away from this, I get in trouble. Uh, the cocktail is either too strong, too wet, or too weak, and it just doesn't turn out right. So I always use this no matter what for my measurements. You're going to need one of these fancy bar spoons, like really long. It's got spirals. You can twist it in the cup. Uh, it's awesome. Love this thing. And then uh, just a mixer, a shaker. Um, so what I do is I start with uh, fridge ice. Uh, I know Kenny and them will pay me for it, but I put some fridge ice into a mixer. And then I go ahead and get my bourbon out. And we do two ounces of bourbon. So two ounces. So got my handy jigger here. Do one ounce, two ounce, and there we go. And then, like I said, uh, most people use simple syrup. I use maple syrup. If you can find uh, barrel aged maple syrup, it's even better. Kind of gives some more smoky bourbon kind of flavors. Uh, but today, I just have standard uh, maple syrup because I drank all my barrel aged maple syrup during the quarantine, and so. I couldn't find any more, so I have regular maple syrup. So what we're going to do with that is a half ounce of this. So just a half ounce. So I got my little half ounce here. All right. And then it's time for bitters. So Angostura is pretty, you know, standard. Uh, it's pretty popular in the industry for uh, old fashions. I love Angostura bitters for a simple old fashioned. Now, here's where you can get really, you know, make personalize your own old fashioned. You can get orange bitters, black walnut, uh, all there's a so many different varieties. So I prefer Angostura bitters for my old fashioned. So I give, and I'm pretty liberal with it because I really want to taste it. So I give about four or five really big dashes. 
So all I'm going to do is let that sit in there, and then I'm going to start twirl the cup with my little, or not little, this thing's tall, my real tall spoon. You know, kind of hang out, bob my head. You know, it's going to get really cold and nice. That should be good. And then, so I have these fancy cube dice uh, that Kenny gave me. Like I said, typically I use fridge ice because I am uh, low maintenance, but he did provide me with some nice cubes. Uh, people can get really nerdy and scary, or not scary, crazy with these. They put them in coolers, get them as clear as they want. I think that's fantastic, but I'm a realist. I got two kids, they're twins, four and a half years old. I ain't got time for that. So fridge ice from the GE Cafe is where I'm at. So anyways, got mixed up. Got my fancy square ice in here. I put my strainer on here, strain it into the cup. So there you go. And then last but not least, Luxardo cherries. These are the best. If somebody puts a maraschino in your old fashioned, send it back. If they put club soda in your old fashioned, send it back. If they muddle your fruit, send it back. I'm just kidding. I don't like any of those. I like it simple, you know, just the bourbon, little maple syrup, simple syrup, cherries and bitters. That's it. So I get one cherry out. Now too, you can add, you know, a little bit of the juice if you want. I just like a little splash. You can put more if you want. Let it simmer in there. Oh, it smells good. Home run. Home run. So simple and easy. It's a great way to start off uh, Derby Day. Um, we're going to be doing two more of these here soon. So uh, hope you all enjoy the uh, rest of the content. I think it's fantastic. And uh, yeah, man, this really pairs well with it. So uh, thank you all. Enjoy the next segment. And we'll see you here in a, an hour or two. Awesome, Ryan. Good job, buddy.